You know, one day I will get the dedication achievement on the third. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> We're gonna take it. Don't worry about it. Oh, one day I will get the dedication achievement well, on the third file. I might just die here and activate my Lazarus moment, then pop my pill. Oh, oh it's balls. That'd be good. Oh, I guess it says balls of steel because it not mods on, huh? What I was saying was one day I will get the dedication achievement for my third file. And when that happens, oh, I'm going to be so powerful. You don't even know. I'm, I, I will just get every single achievement in the third file immediately. The only thing stopping me from doing that, dedication. Jeez, I mean, this is what a, what a start. Can I talk about this? I want to go to the... What is that golden penny? Once I get dedication on the third file, it's over. A triple dead god incoming. Ooh. Ooh, I think mom's purse is worth, right? I mean, pretty good. I take it. A good trinket? Uh, no, that's definitely not it. All right, well, I guess we got a C-section start. Let's go. Double key moment. Boom, boom, and boom. That's a triple boom, if you didn't know. <laughs> cool. This is good. Can I die? I can. Should I die? Probably not. Uh, actually, yeah, I mean, I, I should. Let's just die real quick. Take you, that should cost only soul hearts, we can respawn, bloop, very epic, 1 HP left, and that's okay, the uh, damage is completely worth it. And then we'll take that eternal heart at the very end, we'll just use the soul of Zazel to clear out, I guess. I haven't had Maw the Void in a long time, it's a pretty good item, honestly, that's also a very good trinket. What's in the treasure room? It's chemical peel, yeah, that's fine. We still have a significant amount of money, honestly, we can go shop again. It's coupon, uh... Actually, that's kind of good. I don't know why I'm saying it. Eh, eh, take it. Secret room moment. Found it. Java bug. I'll take the Java bug, I think. It's it's halfway decent as well. This is such a nutso run for the very beginning. I'm two floors in. Three minutes. And I'm gaming. Stupid fast. Can't go alternative floors because it's a daily run. That's okay. XL. Huh? Okay, well, I don't want to get hit because I want to keep my deal chance as high as possible. Hello? Uh, I could try and get it for free. I don't know. I got a key. <laughs> Thanks for the free key, man. I, I should buy this as well because I'm afraid of my deal chance. Uh, wow. That is significantly good. A little absurd, actually. Yeah, okay. Hold on. Something's definitely cooking. This is actually kind of a really good daily run now I think about it. Oh, reverse? Lovers? Okay, hold on. Check this fat mod the void play, boom, cross the wall. And there's my treasure room as well. Bird moment. Uh, sure. Check it. Magic mush. I would have screamed. Bella pills? Hi, I'm here now. That was actually good. I wanted to explore this area first. Bit of a tinted rock. Gimme, gimme. Uh, soul heart. Now I will definitely go to the curse room, lose the soul heart, die, then respawn and uh, take that soul heart again. Just because, you know, who else? What, what, what could be in here? Oh, boom! Soul of the Keeper. That's worth it. Hello, guy. Goodbye, guy. Boom. F Whoa! Big! Let's go! <laughs> that might have been the biggest Soul of the Keeper play I've ever seen in my life. That, I think that was the one. That pageant boy earlier, that was barely anything in comparison to what I just pulled off. That was sick. At this rate, like, I I'm gonna go to the shop. Use the coupon, get the battery for free, pick it up, and then get Hive Mind for free. Or I could get the card! Very cool! Hierophant, that's actually worth it. And then we'll get this for free. Nice. Or, I guess, for five cents, right? Let's go! I gotta hurry up for boss rush. Oh, I found my boss. Maw of the Void! Do not diss this item, dude. This thing comes in clutch. I don't even know where my secret room is. Check it, I guarantee you. Oh my lord, I'm him! Anything? Uh, trinkets and a bomb for a nickel? Uh, sure. Why not? What is this? Unfortunately, I don't have a roll, I don't think. I have mom's purse, so sure. That golden penny barely lasted any time. I'm gonna blow this dude up so I get a better deal chance, and then we'll move on. Wait, where's the secret room? It's gotta be here, right? Okay, yeah, I mean, there you go. Hello? Oh, it's the fallen? What? Okay, cool. Free devil item. Dude, he died! Oh, well, I mean, it's okay. I think I prefer Jello. Nah, you know what? Whatever, I'm taking it. Could be fun. Woohoo! Look at him chucking babies. Nice. Experimental. I have a syringe, so I should. My stats did not suffer. In fact, plus two damage up. No! Oh! Alright, this is actually just a good run in general. Hold on, wait a second. Yoink. Oh, don't die! Hold on. <laughs> 
That would be the worst thing. At the time that I'm doing this daily run, uh, I, uh, TwitchCon tickets came out actually uh, today. So I'm going to be buying those because I will be going to TwitchCon. Wait, what is this? Range down? That's tough. That's straight up a DPS down, but oh well. Free treasure! Free Bob. Hi, buddy. So yeah, if you wanted to just say hi or anything, I don't just like join the Discord. If you're going to TwitchCon in Vegas and be like, hey, I'm here, maybe we can say hi. Shop moment? Stopwatch moment. With also the buddy in a box moment. So many moments. Is stopwatch worth it? Not really. But I'm gonna do it. Is buddy in a box worth it? Sure. Is this big pill worth it? That was so worth it. I could die on the devil. Uh, you know what? I might just do that. Let's blow up this keeper so I get a better deal chance. Uh, and then let's maybe spawn the devil and just die on it. This is some insane damage for what I'm working with here, by the way. <laughs> I got it. Okay. Oh, uh, you weren't who I was expecting. Please give me the coal. Thanks. Secret room doesn't have anything for me. Oh, that was tough a little bit. Whoopsies. How do you even do this room? Oh, there's a little space. My bad. I've never seen this room before. That's that's kind of cool. I, 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 that's weird. Anything in here? No? No. I have no clue what I'm going to do with this lover's card, by the way. If you think I have some kind of master plan, evil mastermind type stuff, you're dead wrong. 100%. I got no idea. I mean, I'll try, obviously. I just, I, I don't have a role. If I'm at 1 HP, isn't it just effective for me to die? Oh, by the way, it's a Tinted Rock. Since when I die, I get 1 HP anyway. Especially if there's an extra soul heart that is going to convince me. Perfect. We will walk in here. We will maybe get soul hearts back. Try not to die in a bad way here. Perfect. This is worth it. Die, respawn, take some soul hearts. I gotta take some damage on the way out. No big deal, because there's an extra soul heart. And now we can go, and we are kind of gaming. Question is, where's the super secret room? The answer is, it's right here, actually. Hell, Lemon Party, that's disgusting. Did you guys know what Lemon Party is before Isaac? I, I did not. <laughs> that covers that entire floor! That's, that's disgusting. If you don't know what Lemon Party is, don't look it up. <laughs> don't do it, it's not worth it. Arcade moment? Charged beggar moment. Could increase my deal chance could also be used to just charge an active item not too useful just yet i might be able to find something in the future i've been really good about secret rooms i'm feeling lucky i should never feel lucky i'm unlucky ah, uh oh sacrifice room hmm i don't know how the hp for that but i'm gonna try this is to it lives so it's not impossible it is actually useful that i would do some kind of sac room thing run's not gonna end instantaneously another shop oh there's a golden key i should take this Options and hearts. Ooh. Hierophant reverse is good. I'm actually not even gonna use it just yet. Or I'll take one. I want to fill up my red hearts first because that can help severely with sacrifice rooms just like this can. Okay. Here's my master plan, right? Yeah, I, you know what? I just said that I don't have a devilishly dastardly master plan. I lied. I have one. I just came up with it. Here it is. Ready? I use the lover's card in the angel room that I'm going to TP into via using the sacrifice room. I know it's crazy, but what if? What if this is the play that makes it all? Or, you know, it could just be the nothing play. I don't know. We are slow. How? I'm going so fast. We got to hurry up. Uh, I need health for the sack room. Okay, Isaac. Go ahead and activate Maximum Overdrive. Oh, thank you. May as well do this because I have golden keys. Cool. Secret room moment? No. Another one? There it is. Cool. Uh, I don't think this is worth it, but I just... The idea of it showing up is so enticing to me. Okay, that's cool. Why do I get the feeling this is the super secret room? I, dude, I am on top of things. Aha! Uh -huh, thank you for nothing. I almost don't even want to go to the curse room because the health I have right now, I want to put all into the hello wrath moment, um, sacrifice room. So, uh, yeah. Okay. Here's what I'm going to do. I am going to use sac room as much as possible. Uh, if I TP to the angel, I'm straight up going to use the lovers. I just have a good feeling. Let's refresh our bone heart as much as we can before we have to inevitably lose it. That is good. Another play. Three cents. I am not keeping count. And to be honest with you, without external item description, I never keep count. I don't know what's going to happen next. <laughs> Boom. TP me. I got a chest. Okay. 
A luck up is nice. We still have two minutes. I'm going really fast, but I think I'm going to make it walk back all the way to the sack room. I have the reverse card here. Or sorry, the fool card. I got to keep that in mind. Touch this. Oh, not what I was expecting, but good. But very, very, very good. Uh, I don't think getting the key pieces for the angels is worth it. I can take this other bone heart now because I just don't have anything else to do. And we can quickly make our way to the boss after I blow up the charge beggar, increasing my deal chance. Let's go. Okay, that seems correct. That's the correct play. Also blow you up. Maybe I get hearts so I can go in the curse room. Okay, epic. Oh, there's half a heart. Another luck up too. I am going to lose some bone hearts actually, just in general by doing this. But I don't know. I mean, whatever. Could be worth. Ah, it was okay. I got some points for doing that. Picking up every single uh, pickup in the game gives you points. Uh, up until 99, where it still gives you points actually. It's, it just gives you reduced points, and the more you pick up past 99, the less and less it gives you. So let's say you've picked up uh, 900. At that point, you would start actually genuinely getting a lot less points. I just got a hit. It's okay. No deal. Old bandage. Very weird to see that, by the way. I'm not used to that. Hello? Ho worth. Entirely worth. How does this even work? I don't even know. It doesn't. That was so cool. Oh, they explode. Duh. If I use jello multiple times, do I get multiple jellos in a, in a room or is that just not how that works? Oh my god, this is sick. Wait, this is so awesome. I didn't know. I did not know. This is as cool as hell synergy. I'm about to get like three jellos. Wait, I only got two. What the heck? Give me a third one. Do they disappear over time? Or are they just stacked off on top of each other? Oh, you know what? They're stacked up on top of each other. Right now, I think I have four in total. You just can't see them. But they are, yeah, they're definitely separated. It's just that eventually they kind of end up doing the exact same motion. Yeah, because I have three now. So eventually they kind of get stacked up and they look like they're just one thing. I got to count how many jellos I end up having, by the way. Because that's actually really cool. I've never had this before. The infinite jello synergy. Never would have thought that's what it came out of this daily run. But I'm happy that I did. Yeah, you can tell as well just because of how many uh, bullets are dropping on the ground from the C-sections, you can tell it's actually getting more and more. That's because these C-sections are actually separated. I am shooting just multiple bullets, yeah. There's a bajillion up there. Holy moly. Which also means my damage is getting multiplied to the utmost degree. I'm actually very happy I picked Jello now. Is it called Jello, by the way? I I'm gonna be real. I, I uh... <laughs> it always confused me. Because whenever I said Jello, I was just thinking like... You know, raspberry jello, which whenever I say it, I just get hungry. Ah, my favorite item, the mega bean. I'm not abandoning jello right now. Demonic gestation. Hey, there's a tinted rock. I don't even see you. All right, let's go. There is no chance in hell that I am somehow going to get a secret room god item reroll. At this point, if I manage to find a devil room, I'm just going for it and I'm pressing the lovers in there. You think this is worth it? I don't think it's worth it. I'm gonna do it though. The Demonist of Beggars. Uh, I'll get rid of my red hearts, I guess, because I do have Gimpy and Old Bandage. So it would pay out relatively well. Oh man, please. Oh, this is so worth it. Thank you. Hey, you know what is super satisfying that I feel like a lot of people don't mention? When you have two multiple charge effects and they both charge at the exact same time. Like, look at this. Both my Mob of the Void and my C-section, exact same timing. That's something I really like. Found the secret. Found a greed. Hi, how you doing? I wish when you did daily runs to It Lives or Mom's Heart, I, I wish you could do Hush. That's my one wish. Just feels wrong, you know? You play so fast, you get to boss rush, you hit Mom's Heart under 20 minutes, or I guess 30, right? And it's like, oh, nope, you don't get to play anymore. Feels wrong. What makes you larger? Post moment. I'm here for an eternity. Day seven, the hosts have not gone back up. They're holding me captive. I'm stuck here forever. Lucky rock, huh? Uh, you know what? Uh, sure. I'll even get rid of my locust. That thing's not really doing too much. I could find a uh, crawl space with this trinket. Could net me something, right? We're gonna heal back up. We're gonna fight this boss. It's Triacnid. Did you know that this boss is actually a reference to Edmunds McMillan's video game? Triacnid! <laughs> so the tears up and a pentagram moment. Should I just use the lovers here? Whatever. Yay! I'm so happy. Well, I might as well just clear out the rooms for points at this point. Point, 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 point. Fistula. What is fistula in real life? You know what? Actually, don't do that. You know what? The moral of today is 
I remember to remind yourself, uh, don't look up Binding of Isaac enemies actual real life variants. They're just it's just not worth it, trust me. I already had that arc a long time ago, and I guarantee you it it doesn't pay off. Get rid of my broken heart. Okay. Last arcade. It's a blood bank. What is my buddy in a box? He looks so cool. Is that a reference to anyone? Does anyone know? Because that guy looks awesome. Welcome to hell. Enjoy your stay in the worst Isaac room ever. I'm going to the right on this floor. I know, very brave. Thank you for commending me. Could be secret room. Bomb into curse room. That's cool. No thanks. Thanks C-section for taking care of everything. You guys remember when C-section just didn't exist? I still get comments to this day by the way. I, I don't know if you guys knew this. I get comments to this day off my very first Isaac video where it was like, I think it was called I Cheese Dead- oh! I think it was called I Cheese Dead God in the Binding of Isaac Repentance, right? I had every item uh, and I just was playing Tainted Cane. I was trying to farm uh, to get death certificate so that I could give myself C-section so I could get dead god. Because if you didn't know back then, C-section did not have a pool of items. It wasn't in the game. If you picked it up, it did nothing physically. It literally did not exist. So the only pool of items it was in was in the death certificate room. And to this day, I still get comments in that video because that video is bozo and I mess up a lot, right? Saying things like, uh, like, oh, wh wh what the heck? Why didn't he just go to the treasure room and pick up C-section? Like. <laughs> I don't, I don't think you understand. Back then, it didn't exist. You don't... Uh, it didn't do anything. You picked it up, it did nothing. Uh, but the littlest thing that I could have predicted is that in the end of the day, they would have turned C-Section into this monster of an item, which is arguably one of the best offensive items ever in Isaac history. Like, I was not expecting this when Repentance released. You gotta remember, Repentance added C-Section. It is a new item. As crazy synergies, and that's the reason why it's so broken. Oh, hey, it's green. Hi. Go ahead and die real quick. Quarter? That's actually just points. Check that. Usually, uh, along with points, when I said uh, you pick up uh, pickups and you get points, when you pick up items, you actually lose points. But because the quarter gives coins back, it actually not only evens out, you get net positive from doing that. Fun fact. I used to spam points. Like I used to be like, just like point hoarder. Do anything in my power to get points. Now kind of chilled out, but I still remember a couple strats I used to have. I think that'll be it. I don't think you can even spawn a devil and go to the devil room. Unless I'm dead. Oh, I have a res, I'm okay. I got hit a lot, so I don't think I'm placing too well. And I'm sure literally everyone started with C-section. So I'm so certain that people probably played way better than me. I was just helping for a decent run. This should be a double deal now, right? Yeah, you can't go down anymore, unfortunately. Um, I'm taking Guppy. <laughs> and you know what? And then I'm taking Brimstone. So I can say that I got Brimstone. Also, that might be the slowest tier rate I've ever seen in my life. What is that? Yahoo, I got Brimstone. I've actually never had a slower tier rate. Check how long this takes to, 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 to get. World's slowest fire rate. And then they all blow up into Hamelactor Brimstones, which is sick. So we actually got a sick run. Anyway, GG, 300. Actually, I'm kind of nasty at the game.